These are five great accessories for the Mavic 3. Hey, if you don't know me, my name's Jake, and I create content here to help solo creators on the go. So I review drones, cameras, lenses, and I do tips and tutorials on how to use them so you can tell better stories. If that's something that interests you, consider subscribing. Today we're talking about five different accessories for the Mavic 3. You might not need all of them, you might not want all of them, but they are good accessories. They're ones that I use and would highly recommend. The first accessory I recommend is a good case because this is an expensive drone and you want to protect it. Now this one's not super expensive, it's on Amazon, everything is linked below of course, but it is watertight and dustproof which is really nice, definitely protects the drone really well. If we look inside, you can see that it has the Mavic 3, it has spaces for two of the DJI filter, ND filter slots, it's got space for lots of accessories here, props and stuff, space for four batteries and the RC Pro, which is what I use. And then below that, you have the space for the charger the hub and the charger, which makes for a really nice compact package. It is water sealed and dust sealed, so you can take it out in some pretty terrible weather or bad conditions and not worry about your drone getting wet or dusty or anything like that. And in general, it's got good foam to keep it protected. Everything fits nicely and it will definitely help keep your drone safe. This is the case that I use when I'm running around doing professional shoots. I'm throwing this in and out of the back of my car or somebody else's car because it just makes me feel a little bit better when I know the drone is safely protected. The next thing that I recommend you get is a set of ND filters. Now, Freewell sent these to me, uh, but I've bought a lot of Freewell filters as well, and they are all fantastic. So I recommend Freewell filters really highly because mine have all stood up through a lot of abuse over the last few years. But this is their Bright Day Pack. This inside has an ND4, ND8, ND16, and ND32, but these are all combination uh, ND filters and circular polarized filters. And if you're into more photography, they also offer ND1000 and ND2000. These are extremely dark and will give you really long exposures, which is useful if you're wanting to slow down the motion in water, things like that. And they also offer individual filters. Of course, you can find links to all this in the description. Now, this is just a polarizer. If you're wanting to get rid of reflections on water, you can, but these go on pretty much just like any actual DJI filter. You pop the lens cover off here, Take the polarizing filter or whatever filter you're gonna use, snap it on, and then you can easily turn and rotate the filter right here just like that. Freewell offers a lot of different filter sets, and so you can follow the links in the description and find out one that works for you. The Bright Day Kit is really nice if you're filming a lot over bright, snowlit, uh, sunlit conditions or over open water, things like that. The, um, the Some of the other kits are a little bit better if you're just doing video or maybe you're not operating in super, super bright conditions. But Freewell has a lot of offerings for the Mavic 3 and all of them I highly recommend because they are really good and a good value for the price. Now, if you wanna know whether or not ND filters are needed and necessary for the way you've worked, I linked a video right up here to show you whether what they do, how to use them, and uh, whether or not you might need some for the way you work. The next thing I recommend is a strobe because if you're gonna fly at night, you need to make sure the drone is legal. And especially here in the United States, you have to have a strobe that's visible for at least three nautical miles. This is the Loom Cube strobe. It is visible for at least three nautical miles. Comes with this Velcro so you can easily affix it to the drone. And then when you're ready to turn it on right before takeoff, you push, it'll start blinking. It has a few different modes you can go through. If you want it steady on, if you want it to be strobe, that's what it should be for flying at night is the strobe effect, which is super bright. In fact, I'm gonna go ahead and turn it off. So you push and hold to turn it off and it's ready to go. The reason I attach it back here instead of right up here is because this holds the GPS receiver for the drone. And this drone is not the best at, at acquiring GPS signal anyway. I'm hoping DJI can make that better through firmware updates. But I know it's not just me. I normally have problems with this because I'm way north and all the GPS satellites, most of them are lower on the horizon. But uh, <clears throat> it's definitely been an issue for the Mavic 3 so far. Hopefully they'll be able to update that through firmware, but I wanna keep everything away from this area so that I don't interfere with that GPS antenna right there. Another thing, if you're like me and you didn't buy the Cine Combo, which has the one terabyte SSD, you're gonna need some micro SD cards. These are the ones I use in all of my drones. These are the SanDisk Extreme micro SD cards, 128 gigabyte version, which give you a lot of space to be able to store a lot of footage. And then paired with this little micro SD card holder, 
I can take this with me anywhere and have plenty of space, plenty of storage to be able to do lots of things on different professional shoots that I'm working on. So those I highly recommend. And the last is I know many people prefer to fly with a larger screen like a tablet, whether it's the tri Triple Tech 8 tablet, which I'll have a review of coming soon, or something like the iPad mini or something like their regular iPad, iPad Air. Uh, if you like flying with larger screens, then it's you have to get something else, especially if you're holding using the standard controller. And this is one that I've used for quite a while. This is the Skyre. This is the aluminum version, so it's a little more durable. It snaps in there just like your phone would. You get this nice holder, and it's really easy to just snap an iPad in like that. And then, of course, you might have to get a different cable because the DJI one's kind of short. I've linked one in the description, but just a regular little cable work works for that. And the nice thing is too, it also works for the full size iPad if you're wanting to fly with a much larger display. I've linked two different versions of the larger controller holder in the description. One of them is this one, the Skyreet one, which is fine and it works really well. But recently, since Triple Tech sent me their tablet, I've been using theirs, which I really like a lot. And I found a comparable one in on Amazon that will work for larger tablets like the iPad, uh, iPad Air, iPad mini. So. Uh, take a look at those, and if you're wanting to get one, you can decide which one is best for you. Now, if you want to learn to improve your drone videography and photography, click or tap right there. I put together a small playlist. I'll see you in one of those videos, as always. If you have questions, you can ask me in the comments below, or join my live stream Wednesday nights at 4 p.m. Alaska time, 8 p.m. Eastern. I will see you again soon in the next video. Cheers.